We'll catch up with the penalties here in a minute. Right now, let's catch up with uh, Mike Madonna, Aaron. Well, Gary, a couple minutes ago, Mike Madonna left the ice. I have been snooping around back here behind the tunnel. No word on him yet. We will keep you updated as soon as we can, guys. So Madonna not in there right now. There'll be no power play coming here as there were matching penalties. Ron Wilson, Team USA, he's got to find a way to get this thing done as far as Team USA getting back into this game. Well, here's Shane Doan. This is what Shane Doan is on this team for. He's a big physical presence. He's going to go out there. He's going to play the body. And he's going to get under the skin of the USA team. And I'll tell you what, he's doing his job to a T tonight. When you have Keith Kachuk and Shane Doan, who are very good friends because they played together in Phoenix, when you have them jarring at each other, you know Shane Doan is being effective. You know what else you had there? Two teammates from Dallas, Billy Garrett and, and Brendan Morrow. Garrett came in and put a clothesline on Morrow. Yep. That's Regeer who gets hit in the corner. Kachuk trying to dig it out. Kachuk going to the near side. The penalties went to Garrett. Chelios two each and Morrow got four. Kachuk back in behind the net. Joe Sakic all over him. Dropped it off. Regeer could not get to it. Team USA trying to work it in front. Kachuk another penalty coming to late call on Team Canada. That one gets bounced into the corner. Again, Le takes a shot. Gets the stick up on Eric Weinrich. Back onto the point. So a delayed penalty is coming here. Extra skaters on the ice for Team USA as Esch has gone to the bench. They bring it all the way through center. Again, Lahadic lost it. Still Amadi. Amadi dropped it. Shot back for Amadi as it got blocked. And there's the whistle. Team USA will get a power play. Man that's making his second trip to the sin bin, Robin Regeer. What do they teach down there in Brazil? Born in Brazil, parents yes. missionaries. I was going to say, JR, how close was that Brazilian team to making the pool? <laughs> Not real close, huh? Uh, they lost by 25 goals, I think. That's Regeer, it, and it's, it's the, that free arm penalty that we see called, and that is a, it's almost a zero tolerance when you take that one hand off the stick and wrap it around. Welcome to the modern day NHL. Hold, hold, hold. Now a power play opportunity. Niedemeyer at 722. Team USA has had two power play chances. They have over two and they have not had a shot on the first two. Red Hall near side. Hall, play on the phone they give him. He gets to the dot. Shot got deflected up and uh, over the Brian Leach was at the point. Couldn't get it. Brewer blocked it. Short ended the other way. Into the corner. Mm. Pretty good shot put on as Shane Doan again goes down. Doan is just eating up ice time. How can you ever skate? Wow. Leach working one of the points in the power play. Marty Grenier trying to stop the puck, but not. That's Adam Foote with a hit. Played around uh, by Simon Gagne on the far side. Still loose behind the net. And boy, the sticks are up, the elbows are up, and the hits are hard into the wall. Team USA has got a power play. Brad Richards has got the puck. John Michael Lyles out there, couldn't hold it in. You know what, guys? We, we just saw a series of hits, and it's something that no other team can match in this entire tournament is Eric Brewer, Adam Foote, Robin Regeer. The physical play that they just punish people. You're not going to see that from any other team in this tournament. Team USA was supposed to have Darian Hatcher out. Al Gill. Al Gill out. Injury. Jordan Leopold. Concussion out. Matthew Snyder out. So they are really missing people they expected to have working on D. You're even missing Ed Jovanovski, who went down earlier with an injury. Yep. And it'll be brought back up. Team USA still in a power play. Ralston, 34 to go on the advantage. Dump back in around the near side for Tony Amati. 19 minutes without a shot. Team USA a chance. Save made Marty Brodor and then Conroy had a block. Great chance. Kachuk is out in front. Amati's got it. 20 seconds to go on the power play. Back out onto the point. Chance Ralston wide of the net. Back to get it Amati. Looking for Kachuk. Couldn't get it through. Kachuk, Conroy down low. Ralston a blue line chance. Deflected. Kachuk got a net. No! Brodeur's in the game finally, now. Finally, Brodeur might have a bead of sweat on him. But this is what Keith Kachuk is so good at. He gets himself around the net, and the puck just seems to find him. Here, he gets a good tip, gets it back. Not a great angle, but he still had a good chance to do it. Marty Brodeur stays with the puck. That's what he does so well. He stays with it, stays with it. Second effort, and you can see Keith Kachuk's just this dismay of how this game is going. He says, what do we have to do to get this changed around? Marty Brodeur, Vesna winner twice in a row, makes another save. Brodeur, 4-0-1 in the 0-2 Olympics. In the Olympics, he had a 1-8 goals against and took the gold home. And he's just standing watching the discussion. Free facials for everybody on this scrum. <laughs> facials all around. I'm, I'm buying around for the boys. 
And earlier, there's a good chance by Kachuk behind the net. And he comes around and he just misses. Broder gets a skate to right to that post and just denies Kachuk coming around. How about Conroy? I've, seen Keith, the I've too. seen Keith do this millions and millions of times, and that puck was just suspended in the air. I know Keith Conroy had his eyes just wide open waiting for that chance. Five on five hockey now, partially fanned on, and a little takedown and losing the stick over there is Eric Weinrich. Here's foot. It's oh. shot. Oh, mercy off the post. Rebound. Brad Richards. Richards uh -oh. left it in the middle. St. Louis Sniper. trying to get it in. Sniper. Cleared back up and out. Another great chance. Alpern in, and there's another offside and another takedown, and Alpern didn't like it. And he's looking down at Eric Brewer. Want to remind you, ESPN 2's coverage of the World Cup of Hockey continues. Hal Madano, the U.S., will meet Kovalev, Yashin, and the Russian team. That'll be Thursday, ESPN 2, the Toyota World Cup of Hockey, 7 o'clock Eastern. You mean I get to do this all over again? Yes, you do. I am excited. And you should be. Woo! The guys that aren't excited are the guys that are sitting on the bench wearing white. It's been an uphill struggle for Team USA, Team Canada, really dominant from the opening faceoff. Yep. Team USA won 19 uh, minutes without a shot. They've had four shots over the last 20 seconds. Well, if there's anything to look at right now, the U.S. has definitely had its best pressure of the game in the last five minutes. It's the most that they've even controlled the puck. So whenever they get a chance, maybe there's a little bit of hope on the bench. And if there is, hopefully they can find it. Big ear cleared that one up, tipped up, not out. Anybody Team USA getting the zone a little bit here. Anybody noticed Mario Lemieux lately? No. He has not been out there. Now, whether or not just with a 2-0 lead and Team Canada dominating, that back Quinn is going to hold him out a little bit, I don't know. Or is it the back acting up again? Played by Anita Meyer. Anita Meyer with weight putting the check on. Partially got him. Amani trying to get it, could not. Oh, and that yeah. came outside the line. Chelios trying to hold it in. Could not. Team Canada, two power play goals. They've got the 2-0 lead. No psychic part of the celebration. Mario Lemieux is alive and well. He's just not playing very much. We suspect that's just a product of the score with Canada leading 2 to nothing and really not being threatened. Mario's watching. And Taking it easy. In a long tournament to come. Yep. Three games are played in this first round. Everybody goes, moves on to the elimination round. The three games that are played by each team decide the seeding. Into the middle. Open. Garrett. Yes! Ah! Yes, Billy Garrett! What a shot! And it's two to one. What a shot. Marty, wow. Marty Brodeur had this go by him before he even flinched. Just like I tell you with Jerome McGinley, when he gets in the slot, same goes for Billy Guerin. He gets that puck in the slot, and he can just fire all out fire. Not only that, but his accuracy, his accuracy is unbelievable. And he's just showed why he's one of the superstars in Nash Hockey right here. Well, the puck went into the corner to Scott Gomez, and boy, did he ever take it. Scott Gomez, one of the best feeders in the NHL, and he waited for Billy Guerin to shove off of his check get open and then launch the laser. What a big goal that is, because Team USA has been so outplayed, but, but Halfway through this game, it's a one-goal differential. So Billy Guerin gets it, a 34-goal scorer with Dallas last year. Billy Guerin puts Team USA on the board, and it is 2-1. to one. Team Canada leading it. That's going to be touched up for the icing call. Good play by John Michael Lyles. Well, three New Jersey Devils or former New Jersey Devils on one line with Brian Ralston, Scott Gomez, a current Devil, and a past Devil in Billy Guerin. Here is Guerin on the boards battling it out with Ryan Smith. And Gomez went right to the corner and just turned around looking for Garen right away. From goal cam, that's what I was talking about. Brodeur didn't even flinch until he knew the puck was by him. That's how good the shot was from Garen. Team USA now in the last two minutes has had five shots, five chances, one goal. Entirely different from the way it had been almost the first half of this game. Set it again, Marty Brodeur to knock that one away. Down on the ice, Amani trying to back it up. Brodeur trying to find it, and he does, and covers. I'll tell you what, that is exactly what the United States needed. With all the pressure going on Nash, save after save after save, they have to be sitting on the bench saying, listen, guys, we have to help our goaltender out. Let's get on the board. Let's make Canada a little bit nervous by getting into the one-goal game. Now that it's a one-goal game, watch this start opening up, and don't be surprised if tempers start flaring again. And look who's out there for Canada now. Mario Lemieux, all of a sudden, the score has changed. Yeah. Lemieux gets back out there. Joe Sackick and uh, Jerome McGinley make up this tremendous line for Team Canada. Halpern battling in the corner. Team USA, 27, down on the ice. Halpern, but he held the puck in. Connor Walchuk coming over. Conroy, the other forward on this line. 
and finally has to be whistled as it's pinned up against the wall. Number six there is Wade Redden who is not going to let that puck be moved. It was all Team Canada in period number one. Five five in shots here in period number two. And two to one Team Canada leading it. Billy Guerin picking up that goal at 10.40. Martin St. Louis and Joe Sackick, the Team Canada goals, both coming off power plays. That one had knocked away Brodeur off the paddle on a no-angle shot that ended up on him. And that's going to be whistled on the offside. Gomez didn't want to touch it up, but did, and they'll face it off at center. One thing that I like what's going on right now, Robert Esch is getting a break. Robert Esch had surgery on his hip in June. A lot of people did not think he was going to play. He worked his butt off to make sure that he got here. He's starting the game, and you can tell in the beginning of the first period, at the end of the first period, he was getting sore. This is a much-needed break for him just to sit back and relax and let, the, let his teammates do some work. Bouncing puck by Esch that time, and it was bouncing. Big push put on down low by Simon Gagne, who got the puck. Gagne banged it off the wall. Back for Gagne, deflected away to the point. Held in by Brewer. St. Louis. St. Louis backs it up to himself. Quickness there, Gagne. Gagne to St. Louis. St. Louis goes to the point. Brewer's not there. And he'll have to chase it down in his own end. So after the altercation in front of the U.S. net that we saw, and they had some pushing and shoving and some matching penalties, Team USA has picked it up. And they have dominated territorial play, getting the puck in the zone and getting some chances. The Chuck cutting to the net, Lee one arms it to him. I think they heard me call him a college team. They're mad now. They weren't going to take that from you, I'll tell uh -uh. you that, JR. Moved out by Ryan Smith, and Smith brings it into the zone. Smith dumps it around. Ademeyer stepping up into the corner. Puck still free back there. Jovodowski got hurt earlier, so he has uh, been off the ice for Team Canada. So they are short. Defensive side with Jovanovski out of there. Monty trying to run through, and he got pinned up, and that's a penalty. Oh, that's a great break for USA right now. There's the whistle, and Amadi gets pinned up by Regeer again and didn't like it. Amadi got held at the blue line. Scott Niedermeyer is going to go. Scott Niedermeyer might have been a little tired. Remember, he was in on the forecheck all the way in the other corner, although you got you to gotta really ride Scott Niedermeyer to get him tired. See, but this is exactly what hockey needs right now. They need a referee to step in and not be afraid to call the interference plays. This game is struggling right now with offense. It's struggling with excitement on the forecheck. And the reason is, is the clutching, the hooking, the holding the interference. And we have to have refs like Devo just made there to not have the, to have the guts to call those interferences and put this team on the power play. That would be Paul Dvorsky that made the call. That's Niedermeyer at 13.03 going to the Sin Men. He's had a bad night out there. He's had the last two penalties picked up. And now a Team USA will get a power play chance yet one more time to a World Cup of Hockey. Great to have you with us. Along with Bill Kalen, Jeremy Ronick, and Aaron Andrews, I'm Gary Thorne. Everybody hoping this is not all the hockey we're going to see this year as a subject of whether or not we'll have a season goes on. But boy, what play we've seen here. Team USA, chance to tie it. Hull, that's where he wanted to be, and he was open, but it deflected wide. Again, look. Pinned up against the wall, cleared up and out by foot. How cool was that play by Aginler? Took the hit, bounced off, and strong enough to make a little play. Team USA has had three power play chances. They need one here to get it tied. Hall drops it, Ralston. As JR pointed out, every time he touches the puck, Hall right there, you hear the boos go off here in Montreal. How about Brett Hall? I ran into him right before the game. He's walking around just as. Uh, his undies <laughs> with a pair of skates on. Is he going to wear those? He said, yeah. I said, aren't they brand new? He said, right out of the box. Come on, buddy. I deal. just had dinner earlier. Don't do that to me. Lyles has got it near side. A minute left to go on the power play for Team USA. Wait was already in. Ralston brings it in on side. Shot. Glove save. Marty Rodor. Rodor wants to play it out. And uh, look out. Away to center. Could be a two-on-one. Uh, trying to get it back in the middle of the dome. Good play by Guerin. Billy Guerin came back to cover that time. Off for Gomez. Two-liner. Down to 43 to go on the power play opportunity. Team USA has made it a one goal game and quieted the house here in Montreal a good deal. This World Cup of Hockey sponsored by the National Hockey League, the National Hockey League Players Association and the International Ice Hockey Federation. As everyone has noted, it is a bit ironic with the contract negotiations going on that it's the Players Association and the NHL that are primarily responsible for getting this World Cup back on the ice. Last time played in 96. 
Back into the middle, shot Garrett again, rebound, kick shot, covered up and Renoir didn't like it. Guys, this is looking more like a playoff game, a Stanley Cup Finals game. The stakes are that high, at least for these guys. But right now, Billy Guerin is really motivating this team now. He's, pick he's picked up his game, he's got the first goal for the U.S. to get him on the board, and here he just makes a good play just to get it on the net. It causes Brodeur to lose control of it, keep goes to the net, causes havoc right now. I think USA is just starting to get on the Canadian skin just a little bit. Two big wingers in Keith Kachuk and Billy Guerin, and when they get on their horse and decide to use their power, Whatever this physical play, Eric Brewer's number two shows up, doesn't it? Every scrum. 23 seconds left on this power play for Team USA. Leach, though, has got to give chase. They've given Gomez an assist on the goal by Billy Guerin. Gomez had 56 assists the regular season tied for the NHL lead in assists. Move back up the ice. Team USA with six seconds to work on it. Leach is rammed against the birds off the near side. Leach is open. Leach in shot. And Brodeur runs it up the arm. Back in behind the net, Leach leaves it. Wait, penalty over. Back to five on five. Centering pass block. Leach stays down low. Lyle's the only D back for Team USA with Leach getting caught up ice. But Team Canada can't move it out of the zone. Hull, turnaround shot. Brodeur gloves it. Feathers that one off to Brewer. And we're back to five on five hockey. Again, was already up ice, but they want to change. So the dump in goes to the corner by Ryan Smith. Team USA in the red, white, and blue. The 1920 jerseys of Team Canada. The team in 1920 that won the first gold ever in Canada hockey history. But all of a sudden, we've got a hockey game. Why? Thanks to a guy who plays for the Dallas Stars, Billy Guerin, with his laser-like shot, has made it 2-1 Canada. This guy has over 700 goals for one reason. You get him in a scoring position, and he's going to score goals. This is what they're trying to do. Get Brett Hall in that scoring area for one time. And you'll not see him fan that often, but watch on the power play, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to see him get out of out of view, out of sight, and all of a sudden he's right in the scoring area, and he's going to be in the back of the net. 741 goals, third most all time. Brett Hall, that's his number. Four plus left to go here in period number two. In Canada leading it, Regeer, who's given and taken the shots in this game. Thornton trying to bounce it into the zone. Doan got it. He tried to go deep, couldn't get it uh, through Eric Weinrich. Played back, Weinrich on the poke check. Freed it up, but not before Thornton got it to Doan. Doan and Klee collide. Klee drops it off to Connor Walchuk. Deep Connor Walchuk into the middle and cleared out by Helper in length of the ice. And an icing call on Regeer's time. You notice the tempo's gone out of the game, too. Yep. And, and that, that isn't going to disappoint Ron Wilson and Team USA. I mean, they're still behind by a goal. But when there has been any rhythm to this game, the skating ability for Canada has had the U.S. back in their heels. So I, I think when the game gets chopped up, it favors Team USA a bit, at least at this stage of this game. Well, no question. Especially being here in Canada, being in Montreal, Canada has so much pressure on right now. The longer this game can stay 2-1 and Canada stay close, the more nervous that Canada is going to be. So watch, watch for USA just to keep just sputtering a little bit and keep them on their toes. That was the second time in this game Vinny Le Cavalier off a of faceoff has gotten the puck right in on net. As Ash had to cover the short side, Gomez had to back it up on the wall offside Billy Guerin, who had not yet cleared the zone. Our Sam Adams World Cup summary. Finland over the Czech Republic by a score of 4-0. That came today, uh, yesterday, rather. And uh, Sweden today with a 5-2 win over Germany. They are playing, of course, those are the teams involved in Europe. This is the first of the four teams to get underway here in North America. As Team USA is going to be going to St. Paul, Minnesota for a Thursday game against Team Russia. Moved back out by Danny Heatley. He'll trail on this play. And Smith taken out into the corner and hard. There's Chelios, the defenseman, putting the heat on. Back up onto the point. Foot, foot will shoot it. That got blocked out deep. And Foot could not get that one through. The play by Conroy who blocked that. Heatley, poke check. Kachuk's got it. Kachuk moves it wide. Team USA doing that and doing it better, getting those wide passes. Conroy's getting the pass, but they get Kachuk. He's open shot and save. Rebound! Oh, oh, rebound! Oh. Fanned on! Oh, rebound! Hit off the glove! Cleared up! Not out! Miller's got it! Miller turns it back into the corner. What an effort down low. Conroy tied up. Amadi's got it. Amadi looking. Brandon Reeves running the play. He's down low and open. Here he is. Rebound! Oh, Save made by Brodeur. Brian Leach off 
the bench right to the top of the slot. Well, luckily, too, you hear the fans booing. I think the, the linesman missed a little bit off sides on this one. And I, I'll tell you what, if, if this puck goes in the net, this roof is going to come off this building, and I wouldn't want to be that linesman. But Tony makes a great play. Monty comes around, puts it on net. This is earlier with, with the jury right in front. And you, this you see a lot of Broder squirming and falling all over the place to try to keep the puck out. What a chance. And the veteran Leaf saw that one on the bench. And when he came on the ice, he just ran to the top of the crease. Mario Lemieux's line comes out on the ice now. That one's cleared the distance. Leach coming back. And Leach will touch that one up, and we're going to check in with Dave Amber. David and Barry. Coming up in the second intermission, Barry's going to reveal the one player who could be the difference maker in the third. And Barry, right now we're seeing a bit of a momentum shift. Because of Robert Esch's play early in this game, but he's going to have to make some key saves early in the third. Can will be better early in the third. Canada clinging to a one-goal lead. Guys? Heck of a game underway here in Montreal. You know, nine minutes ago was when the first scrum occurred, and we talked about the frustration that Team USA was feeling. Since that first scrum, they have outshot Team Canada in the last nine minutes, 12 to 1. What a turnaround. I mean, amazing. Esch able to knock that away. Minute 54 left to go, and it certainly has quieted the obvious Team Canada fans here. Amati got a Sakic got a piece of him as he went down. Joe Sakic. Dumped it in the middle. Again, let trying to get loose. Could not. Pass to him. Got blocked and cleared out by Lyles. Hunter Walchuk stood up. Two on two the other way. Shutting it down. Conroy. His pass blocked. Lemieux, but he went back on net. Brodeur is tied up in the net. Pulls the man in with him. Now Brodeur is trying to get a whistle. He's in it with Hunter Walchuk. Look at Mario. Mario Lemieux. He to fight somebody. I can't believe it. And you say there's not rivalries in hockey? Holy cow. Marty Brodeur got tied up and tried to pull the man in with him. Mario's first shift in 12 minutes, and he's ready to go. And Jerome McGinley came in right away to help out. Chris Chelios is in there. Halpern has something going with Scott Niedemeyer away from the scrum. You! What got into Mario Lemieux, ladies and gentlemen? Watch what Brodeur does here, first of all. He, it was Steve Conowalchuk that landed on him, and Brodeur said, well, while you're here, why don't you have dinner with me? Grabbed him by the back of the jersey and pulled him in. And it was Lemieux that went right after Conowalchuk. Halpern and Niedemeyer are, ready, are fighting on the near side boards. I thought this thing would calm down. It looked like, it looked like they were talking. The linesman, I don't think anybody saw it originally because they drifted off to the side. You know, I stopped by the officials' room before the game and jokingly said to the linesman, well, I hope you guys are ready to break up a lot of fights tonight. Joking. Not anymore. Let's I watch Mario. You. I told you this was going to get a little interesting. Just personal experience, guys. This is the shift now for Mario. See the scrum in the net? Mario's trying to get in there to help Rodeur. And that's when it starts. He's at the corner wall check. I'm not sure he went after the guy he really wanted, but he got he got caught a wall check. Meanwhile, look what's in two pieces right in front of the crease. The stick of Martin Brodeur. You think he got someone pretty good with that? I would think so. I guess and Mario's it, it's feeling not, pretty good. And it's not broken where the handle meets the paddle. The paddle itself is snapped right in two. That means somebody's shin has a pretty big welt on it right now. It's amazing how things carry over in sports and aren't forgotten. Your players a lot of times say, oh, that's in the past, that's gone. Bull. Because what you're seeing here with help with uh, Mario Lemieux and Connor Walchuk is Pittsburgh and Washington in the playoffs. They had some scrums. Connor Walchuk was assigned to Mario and, and didn't mind putting the stick up and into the midsection on him. And Mario hasn't forgotten that. And once Mario saw it was 22, who was even remotely close to Marty Brodeur, it all came back again, and he went right after him and wanted a piece. Well, you don't think well, that this means a lot to Mario Lemieux? Not to play, but 10 games. Was it 10 games last year he played in the league? Yeah, to come it. out and work as hard, work as hard as he has all summer with T.R. Goodman out in California, who's one of the best conditioning guys in all of the country. But to come out and show this kind of enthusiasm and this kind of attitude in front of his home crowd. I think it's a fantastic, fantastic thing for Mario to be doing. JR, as you know, this rivalry goes back to at least 1996 when Team USA won 
the World Cup of Hockey. And the winning goal started with a huge hit from Billy Guerin. We've seen Billy Guerin tonight. Tony Amati, the ultimate winner that won it all for Team USA. And they have been a factor in what is at least a partial comeback, not a complete comeback yet, but they have been factors here in period number two. Billy Guerin still screaming out over there about the calls, I think. As these two are into it, the way you would hope it would be if you're a hockey fan. Team Canada romped through almost the first half of this game, dominating Team USA. Then Team USA just turned it around, 180 degrees, and it's now a one-goal game. Well, Ronnie Wilson just yelled, you've got to be kidding, because the penalties didn't go their way. Steve, and, and if Connor Walchuk picked up a deuce, first of all, had that been a tearaway jersey, he'd be naked right now, because Brodeur grabbed him by the back. Then it was Mario Lemieux that went after Connor Walchuk, I think not knowing that it had been Brodeur that pulled him in. The penalties uh, go five for fighting to Niedermeyer and Halpern. Connor Walchuk gets two for roughing and two for goaltender interference. And Mario Lemieux gets two for roughing. That's why Ron Wilson was saying, you've got to be kidding. Yep, that's what he was saying. Team Canada's on the power play. Team Canada getting the power play. And this is going to be their fifth power play of the game. They've scored two power play goals. St. Louis and Sackick have the goals. Short-handed. That'll be dumped in. Ralston was trying to get there. Played back by Brodeur behind the net. And Team Canada will get the power play set up. This is a huge kill for the United States. If they can get out of this period, 2-1, to one, they're going to have to feel really good about themselves coming into the third period. Under a minute left to go in the period. Good cutoff down low by Aaron Miller that time, played by Aginla. Looking out in front, Lemieux is not out there, obviously, in this power play because he's in the box. Dumped away from Redden. Redden takes the hit along the wall. Still loose. That was again low, came back to free it up. Again, Dome moved it in. Little dump past Sackick. Sackick leaves it. Far side open. Red and shot. Oh. Wide through a screen. Uh, again, let his arms up. He thought that had gone in. Le Cavalier kicks it away to Aginla. Aginla, power play for Team Canada. Sackick wanted a one-timer. Couldn't get it. Good play by Amati who moved up and cut it off. That's uh, Leach on Le Cavalier. Dome came in to help. Doan, Sakic at a point. Sakic and Redden along the blue line on the power play. Doan leaves it down low. Trying to set a screen. Le Cavalier back on top. Sakic left it far side. Centering pass gets blocked off the back of the net. Le Cavalier to the point. There's nobody here. Comes to center, and that's going to do it. That'll do it for the period. 37 seconds left on Team Canada's power play to start period three. Second period chances 10-4 Team USA after they were 14 zip in favor of Team Canada in the first. We've had two different games so far and a period left to go. Team Canada 2, USA 1. Welcome to the Toyota Intermission Report. Barry Melrose, David Amber, great to have you along. Uh, wow, these teams really like each other a lot. The rivalry rolls yep. on, and this is some of the best hockey you're going to see. Well, to me, this hockey is better than Olympic hockey for one reason, the size of the rink. You cannot hide in North American ice surface. You've got to get involved physically, front of the net, in the corner. You don't see hitting in the Olympics like you're seeing tonight because the ice is too big. You can't run around to get a big hit or you're out of position. And physicality creates aggressiveness. Aggressiveness creates hatred. You're seeing that out there. These two teams, this is a nothing game. They're both going to go on to the medal round. It's only for standings, but you see it. You cannot hide, and you're going to stick your nose in here, and the intensity is unbelievable. That's why this hockey beats the Olympics all to heck as far as I'm concerned. Both of Canada's goals scored on power the power play. play, and Team USA not so happy about that. Aaron Andrews catching up with Keith Tuchuk right after the period. All right, thank you very much. I'm here right now with USA forward Keith Kachuk. Keith, the team very upset as they're walking in through the tunnel. What should have happened out there in your perspective? Well, we disagree with the call the rest made there, but unfortunately they can't change it now. And uh, we played so well that period. We took over after that miserable first period that, that I don't know what happened then. Mario Lemieux getting into some action. Are you surprised at all? No, this is a great rivalry. And it doesn't matter who you are on either team. You're going to go out and play hard. And, uh, you know, uh, we're ready to go. And obviously Mario and their team's ready to go. There's a chance you may have lost Mike Madonna for this game. How much does that impact your team? Well, he's a big part of this team, but, uh, you know, we got to move on, and uh, we got other players that can go out and do the job, but we'll definitely miss him. Keith, thanks. Thanks a lot. All right, that's Keith Kachuk. Let's send it back to you guys. All right, thank you, Aaron. Of course, news coming out of Montreal off the ice today as well. The NHL and the NHLPA meeting as they're trying to continue talks for this ongoing labor situation. Nothing to report right now, but those two sides will meet again tomorrow. And of course, we'll have more information tomorrow right here on ESPN and ESPN2's coverage.
of the World Cup of Hockey. And today we had an early one, Germany and Sweden in Stockholm. But it looked like there might be a Cinderella story. Marco Sturm from San Jose scores a shorthanded goal to make it 1-1. The Germans had a good first period. But after that, Matt Sundin, your favorite player, scores on a beautiful backhand goal. Swedes are off to the races. And Matt Sundin doing it big time today. Here a no-look pass. Sweden pours in four goals in the period. And they win this one. 5-2 is your final. Sweden at home. Tying now Finland. Perfect 1-0 record so far. Finland and the Swedes are going to get it on on Friday and They tomorrow. hate each other. Oh, boy, that is a rivalry you don't want to miss as well. Sweden right now atop the standings along with Finland. That goes back to the Viking days. <laughs> it goes way back. <laughs> and uh, the Czech Republic, remember, they lost to Finland 4-0. So the Czech Republic looking to, looking to turn that around tomorrow against the Swedes. That's how the standings stack up. And Czechs have certainly looked the poorest of all the teams I've seen. At least Germany tried. The Czechs didn't even try their first game. Yeah, Jager and gang shut out by the Finns. Tomorrow, though, they're taking on Matt Sundin and the Swedes as they look to turn things around. Coming up on the intermission report, prime time is right about now. Dion, you have some news coming out of the NFL and what's going on with prime time? That information coming your way next. Well, see the stars tomorrow. You got Yarmer Jager, you've got Peter Forsberg, Czech Republic and Sweden getting it on on ESPN. Puck drops 1 o'clock Eastern as the World Cup of Hockey rolls on. Welcome back to the Toyota Intermission Report. Barry Melrose, David Amber. Coach, who are we going to look for in the third period to be the difference maker? The reason this game is close is because of Robert Eshi gave his team a chance to compete in the second period, which they did, and they took over the second period. But Brett Hall's got to create some offense. Jeremy Roenick said he's their best offensive player. He's the third top goal scorer in NHL history. This guy's got to put some pucks on the net if the Americans are going to have any chance of beating Canada in the third period. Canada, one goal lead after 20 minutes, a one goal lead after 40 minutes. And remember, there could be some overtime coming your way. Uh, Gary, Bill, and JR with your third period coming up next from Montreal, Canada clinging to a 2-1 lead on the Toyota World Cup of Hockey. ESPN 2's presentation of the Toyota World Cup of Hockey is brought to you by the Toyota Tundra Double Cab. Not just big, life-sized. is underway here in Montreal and we're delighted to have you with us. Canada's got a 2-1 lead but two different games. Canada dominated the first portion of the first two periods and now Team USA has battled back and made it a 2-1 game. Bill Clement, Jeremy Roenick, Aaron Andrews, I'm Gary Thorne. Third period getting ready to go. Scoreboard really reflects the two games. With Canada going up 2-0 early on. But now it's up for grabs. Canada came out storming and on a power play was Thornton to Martin St. Louis. That was one. And Joe Sackick from the point on his second power play. But Billy Guerin narrowed the gap. And as soon as it got to be a scrum fest is when Team USA came off life support. You told me this game was going to look like this going into the third period. I wouldn't have believed you at the end of the first. It just looked like Team Canada was just going to dominate, and then uh, Team USA got things turned around. So here we go. Marty oh, Rodeau, Robert Ash in net. It's funny. You saw USA turn it up right when Mike Madonna went out of the game. Usually that's what happens when you have a top five go out. You're going to have other guys step up and just pick up the play. That was Ash. You had to make a save with LeCavalier cutting right in front of him. Marty Brodeur shuts it down at the other end. Team USA picking up in the shot department. Garen Kachuk both had three shots in that last period. And uh, holding Sackick down to a couple. And two for Le Cavalier in the second period. And uh, Team Canada after that did not get the chances they had in the first. Le Cavalier again, look, again look looking St. Louis. St. Louis trying to get it back out in front. Jammed up. Again, let sets a little pick. Held in by foot. Intercepted by Leach. Off the wall foot. Trying to get it. He's got to get turned around. Kachuk was trying to break through him. St. Louis. St. Louis turned by Doug Waite. Teams want to change. Just underway here in the third period. With the goals by St. Louis and Sackick on power plays for Team Canada. Guerin, an even strength goal for Team USA. It'll be chased even to the zone by Weinrich. And he will touch that one up. And we'll check in with Aaron Andrews. Aaron. All right, Gary. Well, Mike Madonna left early in the second period. They're calling it a lower body injury. He will not return tonight. He will be further evaluated tomorrow, guys. I think, personally, I saw him get hit in the foot with a, with a puck. I don't know if the uh, 
if he got hit it hard enough to make him uh, maybe his foot swell, swell up or what. But I didn't see anything happen to him. I'm kind of curious what that lower body injury is. Well, now you know how it feels for yeah. us sitting up here, huh? We're back in the playoffs. Well, right. you should see how it feels for me down there. It's no fun. <laughs> Probably means he's got a head injury. Back into the middle. Regeer will move it out. Team Canada in the yellow jerseys from 1920. Their first gold medal won by that team. So in recognition of that, the jersey's on tonight. The red, white, and blue for Team USA here in Montreal. Laid back where Gears got it. Good forechecking job. Team USA's Billy Guerin was up there preventing the move out of the zone. Intercepted, but the dump in went wide. Morrow had a good intercept. Kachuk moves it back. Gomez will leave it deep. Team USA will start there. Canada's injuries include Rob Blake and Chris Pronger, who are out, and Steve Eisenman, who we mentioned earlier. Three that uh, did not make it. Uh, Jovanovski injured in this game. And you've got Niedermeyer still serving a five minute for fighting. So Team Canada is starting this third period with four defense people available to play until Niedermeyer gets out of the box. Adam Foote, Conroy jumped over his stick. Wait will carry it back deeper into the zone. And start out with a Team Canada. Nowhere near as dominating as they were starting this game. That one got jumped. Wait moving it in. Shot save made by Ash. Bouncing puck into the corner. Gagne. Simon Gagne held it in. Simon Gagne is getting held in. Right up against the wall. Gagne breaks free. Trying to find somebody open. Dump back. St. Louis trying to set weight. In the front of the net. Clee ties up his man Gagne. St. Louis again dumping it off. Little line change here for Team Canada. Mary Lemieux had been out playing in this group and it's not Gagne had come out and played. We'll get a change. Hull with it. Hull waiting as they come over the boards. Here's the Lemieux unit now, Gary. Lemieux comes back out as they finally get the line out with the psychic Lemieux and a Ginley. I tell you, USA dodged a bullet over there real quick. It was a great play by Tony Amante just to get a stick on, on the player just before he shot. I don't know who had it. It might have been Richards, but Tony Amante got a stick. Tony Monty got a stick right in on the hands of Richards and didn't allow him to get a good shot on that. Short summer for Brad Richards after winning the Stanley Cup. And then here he said he actually took less than a month off and then started training on the 9th of July after a trip to southern France. But he said his life is not his own any longer in Prince Edward <laughs> Island. He said people come into his door. He said, I'm not sure I can live there any longer. <laughs> Amazing, huh? Garen dropped that one off. Mary Lemieux out there trying to get going. Got held up. Good play by Ralston, who tied up Mario Lemieux. Tipped uh, deeper into the corner, still loose. Having trouble, both teams having trouble moving. Redden got it around, couldn't clear it by Leach. They hold it in down low. Shot went right through the top of the crease. Comes all the way to Miller. Aaron Miller, his pass deflected up and into the netting, where we will get a whistle. I'm talking about that team from 1920. It was uh, Team Canada's first gold medal that they won. These were the uniforms that they were was the Olympic hockey competition. In fact, Team USA was involved in that competition. They, they were the Winnipeg, Winnipeg Falcons. Winnipeg Falcons. Back then, before other countries became powerful in hockey, whatever team won a senior championship in Canada usually went on to win the uh, the gold medal in the Olympics. The Penticton Vs, the Whitby Dunlops. I mean, pick a team. The Kingston Frontenacs. Here's Morrow in. Shot! And he didn't get it off. Went off the heel of the stick. Chelios trying to back it up. Went along the wall. That ended up being a two-on-one break. And Team USA dodges another bullet right there. Dumped off by Conroy, but nobody there to receive. Moved uh, up. Brewer not out. Conroy got it. Conroy also had Doan's stick stuck in his midsection. Back again into the middle. Brandon Morrow out of gas, though, as he gets knocked down. Robert Esch dropped it off. Esch spectacular in the first period in particular of this game. And that gave Team USA a chance to regroup and get going. Regeer cleared it around. Turned back into the middle on a deflection wide of the net. Good opportunity by Jeff Halpern who got a stick on it. Halpern comes to the corner to dig it out. Halpern along the wall sends it in softly. Brodeur up to Heatley. Have not heard a lot from Danny Heatley tonight. He's not had a little room, a lot of room to get open here. Ryan Smith will dump that one in. Third back in. Odd man rushes. Canada's had them all. 6-0. So far in this game. Into the middle, there's Halpern, leaves it. Garen a trailer. Connor Walchuk to him. Garen looking, shot, missed it as it went in behind the net. Deep rebound all the way around the wall. Ryan Smith's got it. Smith. Great play by Leachy there, stepping over and taking that play away. Three on two, and Leachy just so smart, comes over and takes that, that pass right away. Phenomenal, isn't he? 
after all these seasons and all these miles for Brian Leach. He continues to be one of the great defensemen of the game. Eleven times now he's played in international competition. And he's going to have to be as good as he's ever been in this tournament for Team USA to win it all because he is part of the go-to pairing. It's Aaron Miller and Brian Leach with the injuries that Team USA has in the blue line. Brian Leach is going to have to be as good if not better than he's ever been. 17 years with the New York Rangers. Then, of course, the trade nobody could believe as he ended up in Toronto. Back into the corner, Lyles. Ooh, did he get a stick underneath? Lyles upended. Simon Gagne. Gagne all right, though. Center he passed St. Louis. He had a man open down low, but couldn't get it there. He got blocked. His weight was standing waiting. Boy, Simon Gagne had a terrific shift in the offensive zone. He kept the play alive with a poke check. Redden moves it in. Redden the wrister. Over Ash. Conroy will pick it up. Amandi's ahead of him. Looking for a haul. Couldn't get it. Too far. Icing on the touch. 13.50 to go. This game yet to be decided. Canada's got the 2 1 lead. They came from the old Montreal Forum. They are the best hot dogs in the world. They are grilled. And so is the role. But you go ahead on that, and we'll talk about the I, game. I remember Wayne Van Dorp ate 20 of those one day oh. during a game, and we had to carry him on the bus one year. That's I got to eight one day, but that's all. 20 hot dogs. Is there a game? This is good Bill? game going on right now. Bill? This kitchen update brought to you by <laughs> Gary and Jr. <laughs> we got a good game going on right now. <laughs> oh mercy. Got down to 13.44 left to go here. Conroy off the wall. Niedermeyer moving in with him. Niedermeyer on the top. Guys, Conroy has not been off the ice in the last three minutes. It's like they're triple shifting him right now. Mario's back out there. Mario Lemieux has not played very much. One shift in the last 18 minutes. Took a penalty. And uh, Mario yakking away along the near side. There's been a lot of that going on in this game. Conroy has played a, he is a very tough player. And he had some words out there. Mario skated away. Joe Sackick on the faceoff won it. Stolen by Garen. Nice tip out of the zone by Ralston. Niedermeyer reached in, one-armed it. Played back in by Sackick. Regeer near side. Mario's on the near side with him. Sends it into the corner for Sackick to get. Sackick turns it, looking into the middle of Regeer. The wrister in front blocked. Tried to get it to a Ginla down low. Team USA has covered a Ginla pretty well in this game. That tip pass Mario. Lemieux turns it up. Three on two opportunity. Sackick's on the right. Mario's a trailer. Drop to him. Centering pass. Sackick had been tied up and taken down. Too many nice guys. Nobody wanted to shoot. And that was Leach again who got back. Team USA cannot clear. Brewer, shot, glove, Esch. And Garen just wants to take the heat off and will ice it. I'll tell you what. That started from a bad change earlier. It looked like a three on one. And all of a sudden, we have Leachy coming off the bench and just gets in and takes the guy out in front of the net. But it looked really bad at the beginning. The best hockey players in the world will continue Wednesday, ESPN, ESPN2, the Toyota World Cup of Hockey, 1 Eastern. It'll be Jager, Czech Republic, Matt Sundin, Sweden, 7 o'clock, Psychic, Canada against Slovakia. Here we go. It looks like a really bad situation. 3 on 1. Leachy comes off the bench, does a great job to take Joe Sackick out, puts a stick between the legs, creates a scoring opportunity. Ryan Leach, two very fine plays on the last two shifts. There he is. Leach and Miller teaming up defensively. Drop back. Good pressure. Thornton got it. Thornton take down on the far side. Morrow. Doan's got the puck. Shane Doan trying to one-arm that one. Doan, great strength. Back for Thornton from the Boston Bruins. Thornton tipped it. Thornton brings it around. Thornton a shot. And saved made by Esch. And Morrow gets the paddle from Esch as he came too close. Leach will pick it up. Dumps it off the near side wall. Great pass to Hall. Hall poke checked away from him. And turned out of the zone by Thornton. Both teams over the boards. I'll tell you what Team Canada is starting to do now. Play like this a regular season game. Chip the puck in deep. Establish a game along the wall. Get it in behind Robert Ash. Nobody committing penalties now. 2-1 game with 12 minutes left to go. Team Canada both their goals off the power play. But Neil Cavagay trying to move it in offside. It got stood up by Tony Amon. Part of that play I talked about behind the net, centered around the play of the big Boston Bruins center, Joe Thornton. Look at the play, once off the net, again, two complete 360s, and finally he left Aaron Miller in his dust, turned around, couldn't get complete wood on it. But when Joe Thornton establishes that kind of game down low, there are a few players that can negate him. Doug Waite won that faceoff. Return, LeCavalier in the middle, got it, Heatley on the right. 
Comes near side and 10. Instead, rather, Ryan Smith overskated. Wait. Up the wall, held in by Redden. Wade Redden dumped it down low. Danny Heatley behind the net. Heatley, Atlanta, one of the fine young players. Heatley is going to make that organization a team to contend with. Near side, knocked again. Redden cleared out of the zone. And they've got a clear. 11.25 to go. And now we get a more cautious game. And Smith trying to put it through the middle did. Got blocked. Chelios. Chelios trying to turn back. Had weight there. Lyles on the far side. And the lead moves up. Ahead to Kachuk. Kachuk backs it up. Chelios. There's Chelios. He is the captain for Team USA. As he was at the Olympics in Salt Lake. Mario Lemieux, the captain for Team Canada. Rick has sent away to Richards. Look out. Richards coming. Richards looking near side for Gagne. Got tied up. Gagne got all the way over there. Kachuk's on him. Pucks kicked away, St. Louis behind the net, Richards, centering pass, St. Louis picks it up to Richards, tic-tac, passing, shot, Ash, able to keep it down, Gagne tried to ram it home. Great chance, down low, Conroy, out of the zone, both teams trying to get a line change done here, batted by Ralston, Regeer wouldn't let it go by, Gagne out. Gagne back again, Gagne's been Canada's best player in this period, and one of their best in the game. You remember, he got crushed into the boards and cut his nose in the first period, no problem. Playing is great at both ends. Aaron Miller had it lost. Here comes Mario Lemieux who moved up on it. Played by a Gimlet, couldn't control it. Now they're going to wave off any icing. Adam put back to get it. Closing in on the 10 minute mark of the third period. Hall up on the four check. Mario's fighting. Brett Hull is four checking. What is going on here? <laughs> Mario Lemieux dumps it in from the red line. Behind the net, Esch. Played by Sackett. Gets hit by Leach. Dug out, spotted up in the air by Gomez. Cleared it into the middle of Ralston who wants to go there. He'll take it out of boards instead. Ralston winds up wide of the net. Marty Brodeur let that go. Sent it in. That's Lemieux chasing. Center he passed foot blocked it to Ralston. Ralston kicked it away. Held it into Leach. Leach waiting. Trying to find someone in front. Mario Lemieux. That long reach of his. That stick all over the ice was at the point on that one. Team Canada needs a line change, though. Thorne, Chelios, bumped it ahead. Gomez may have got a touch on it, and no, it's icy. So, we're going to send you away with 9.18 less to go while we finish the hot dogs. We'll be right back for a finish. 9.18 remaining. Ash, what a difference he made, especially in that first period. There to see the shots. As Team USA has battled back after that first period where Canada 19-6. Amazing. Jeff Halpern out there for Team USA has taken all of the defensive draws to the right of Robert Ash. Good face off win. Thornton tried to run that in on net. Couldn't get it there. Lyles tipped it away. Kind of wall check is out there. Halpern and Garen. That's Garen with a puck. Garen moving it in. Garen a shot. Save Rodeur. Run into by Halpern. Scott Niedermeyer's got his arms out saying, come on, isn't that goalie interference? He may have helped the uh, interference, actually. I know one thing, Brodeur looked like he got charred pretty good. Yes, he did. Well, this, is, this is a great play by Billy Garen. He takes it wide, and he knows that there's going to be someone going to the net. And just like Marty Brodeur does, he just covers it up and doesn't let out a rebound. Watch Halpern here. Well, he hit Brodeur with no help from Niedermeyer at all. He actually hacked Niedermeyer and then went by him. Yep. That's why Scott Niedermeyer was pleading his case. Tale of three games here with Canada dominating early. 18-0 in chances early in the game. U.S. came back. They had a 10-4 advantage in chances midway through. And, and now a tight third period with 8.50 left to go. NHL rules, of course, apply for the World Cup this year. So should there be a tie at the end of the game, we do what would happen normally in the regular season. You would uh, take the break and play the five-minute overtime. When we get to the second round where teams are eliminated, then you have the overtime rule that applies to the playoffs where you just keep playing. For this first round, though, where each team plays three games, the overtime is that five-minute job. Keatley poked it around behind the net. Miller back to get it. Lamonti looking wide again. Once these rink-wide passes started to connect, Canada had to spread it out a little bit. Centered! Not quite. Kachuk had a chance to redirect. Adam Foote clears it. Just trying to get a little room that time. Ryan Smith's on the right in the middle now. Smith waiting. His shot gets blocked. Lyle's got a stick on it and it ended up, uh, Klee did rather, up and into the netting. Well, there's no doubt about who the USA most valuable player is this year at this, this, this today's game. 
That'd be Robert Esch. He's just come in here and he's just made some saves to keep this team in this hockey game and keeping Canada frustrated. Keith Kachuk, you put that about two more feet in front of him, that puck ends up in the net. That shot by Niedermeyer is wide, kind of like last time, JR, 96. And Team USA upset Canada. MVP, Richter. The man in net for that, Team USA. St. Louis dumps it ahead. And played by Lyles. Wait moving in. Tended for Chelios, but it ended up going into the netting. And uh, the faceoff's going to stay in the USA zone. Some grindage going on out there now. <laughs> Whew. You know, a lot of these players said, don't expect this to be a high-scoring tournament. And, and naturally, everybody was thinking, oh, come on, these are the same guys that played in the Olympics. But keep in mind, this is not the wide rink. The red line is in play here for two-line passes. And besides that, the guys in the smaller rink are, are playing a tighter brand. And that, that happened even in the games leading up to, the, to this one to well, start the tournament. Gretzky said it perfectly yesterday. He says, defense wins championships. Both these teams are, exhi are exhibiting it. Jay, how much does it matter here? I mean, even though they had a couple of weeks and players generally stay in shape, it's not like you're in mid-season form, which I suppose can cut both ways. I'll tell you what, these guys out here right now are sucking air, something fierce, especially in the first period. They're probably feeling a little bit better now at the third period is, uh, is starting to, uh, to move along, but I'll tell you what, that first period was really difficult for them. What a shot. We just can't get a break here from this period. That might be Marty Bodur's best save play. of the game. Chris well, I should Murray. say, that was, a, that was a diving one he made, but that save with the left pad was terrific. He just kicked that one away as though it was an easy save. Brewer's got it. The other thing that may be draining here, it is really hot. This building is full, and in the, it is really hot in this building. And as the game has gone along, you'll notice the puck has started to stick a little more. Kachuk got it into the middle. Shot. Oh, Hopper, and a save. Ah, oh, jeez. What a great opportunity. The U.S. is starting to put a little bit more pressure on Marty Brodeur. One place that you can score on Marty Brodeur, and everybody knows it in the National Hockey League, is down low. So they're going to throw everything at his feet, but Marty gets, does a good job here of getting on the ice and taking away a, a very fortunate opportunity for by the U.S. Jeff Ronnie, Halpern led the Caps in scoring last year. Ronnie Wilson mixing and matching his lines naturally without Mike Madano had Kachuk out there that time with Connor Walchuk and Halpern. Then they were two-thirds of Washington's great checking line that had Alfie Dolan on it. So Halpern and Connor Walchuk really play well together. That's Thornton. Team Canada's got it in their offensive end. Cleared away, though, to Kachuk. Good work again by Miller, who freed that one up to Leach. Leach of the red line poked away by Morrow. Dolan on it. Leach protects it, gets it away to Aaron Miller. Miller on the near side. Miller missed 39 games this last season. Injury. He's happy to be out there and healthy to start another year, even if this is the year. The World Cup. Chelios waiting to get onside Gomez of the New Jersey Devils. Sends that one deep. Again, Niedermeyer back to get it. Niedermeyer, Gomez teammates in New Jersey, but not here in the World Cup. Third back around the far side. Niedermeyer gets the stick picked up. Third away to Heatley. Heatley's got it out of the zone. Here comes Rand Smith back in. The Cavalier cutting to the net. Couldn't get it to him. Team USA just getting back on the back check that time. Chris Chelly also send that one in. Three-time Norris Trophy winner, best defenseman in the NHL. Chelios logging time as the captain, Team USA. I'll tell you what, time is running down here with five minutes left. The U.S. has got to start putting a big push on, get some of their top scorers out there a little bit more often. Team Canada still leading it 2-1. to one. Those goals came in the first period. Hull's cutting into the middle. Pass trying to get to him. Can't Gagne there. Gagne cut it off. Gagne bothered by Hull. Still was able to move it out. St. Louis was hanging at center, but... Uh, Ryan uh, Richard saw him and got back. Under the corner, weight, weight shoved away. Hit off the far side wall, but not out. Look out for foot. Shot save made. Esch, and he redirected to try and get it out. Hull. Hull backed it up. Gagne saw that coming, but couldn't get to it. And Brewer will chase it down. Keep an eye on the clock now, as JR said. Time of factor here with Team Canada still on top in this game by a score of 2 to nothing, and that'll be whistled on the offside. St. Louis from Thornton and Niedermeyer. Sackick from Redden and St. Louis. Billy Garen, Team USA from Gomez. 2-1. Ron Wilson coach, Team USA, 1996. Game three, series tied 1-1 for the championship. Going into period number three, Hull at 16-42 with tie at Hull. Tony Amati would win it at 2.35 left to go as Team USA shot Canada in 96 for the World Cup championship. Four goals in the last three minutes and 18 seconds. 
of the third period of 96 for Team USA. Hull is here. Amandi is here. And it's the third period, and Canada has a shoot of one lead. Will history repeat itself? Dump back in. And uh, that ends up going into the netting and will be whistled. You want to see the goals from 96? Yes. Why not? He talked about him, Gary. Brett Hull with a crazy deflection. Tony Amati. And icing on the cake, Hatcher. Amazing finish. Nobody in 96 thought Team Canada would walk away without the championship. The format has obviously changed. That ended up with a, that was a best of three final. Not going to have that this time around. It'll be single elimination once we get to the elimination round. This first round, though, each team plays three games to determine the seedings. Niedermeyer backed it up. Heinrich moved in to hold it in and did. Niedermeyer's got it back behind the net. Amati trying to dig it out. Coming back, Connor Walchuk with it. Connor Walchuk turns it back in behind the net. They're looking out in front. Wrap around. Oh, Chance up. Brodeur save. knocked it away. Great save. Doug White and Marty Brodeur denied. Chelios on the touch. Got to tell you something. Scott Niedermeyer is a great player, but when you let three players on him, Team USA was able to force the turnover. It's all right. Niedermeyer knows he's got Marty Brodeur back there. <laughs> you need three guys on Niedermeyer to get the puck away from him. What a great save by Marty Brodeur. That's what he does. He takes the wraparounds away so easily. That was one of the better chances that, we, uh, that we've had in a while. So hopefully three minutes and 20 seconds left. We need another, uh, we need another goal here, boys. You're listening to Jeremy oh. Roenick, who has uh, had an opportunity to be on Team USA. When you hear the we, that's why. That one bumped back in behind the net. Billy Guerin tied up by Morrow. Yeah, I'm biased. Yes. That's all right. I'm just... I'm uh, biased. I'll tell... Uh oh That one bounced into the corner. Kachuk going after it. Doan hauls it in. Well, Gary and I don't need any goals. We got hat tricks ourselves tonight. tonight. That's, That's exactly right. right. I, I, hot dog hat tricks. Hot dog hat tricks. I've, I've mentioned Canada a couple times tonight. That's it. I want to remind you, baseball tonight coming up as soon as we've completed our... World Cup of Hockey game here with 2.49 left to go and Canada leading it 2-1. Team USA trying to get one back up and got blocked at center. And the Heatley will just dump it in wide. Played up in the air. No way to go with it though. Big battle, Ryan Smith in behind the net. Heatley's back there. Gomez for Team USA goes down. Smith trying to turn it in front. Did blocked by Eck. Le Cavalier back up on top. Nobody there. Near side Regeer. Open screen shot. That one deflected wide. May have been touched by Ryan Smith on the way through. Held in again. Team Canada holding the zone. Vinny Le Cavalier had the poke checked away. Turned around. Chris Drury cleared. And it will be an icing. Barely. But that line from Canada with Heatley and Ryan Smith and Vinny Le Cavalier. They have been able to grind this clock down to two minutes and nine seconds with their great work along the walls. Now Team USA needs a break. 21,273 packed in. Bell Center, Montreal. I'd say everybody pretty well has gotten their money's worth here tonight. We've seen something, a little bit of everything. Tremendous hockey game. Lyles cleared it up. Into the middle. Slovakia will be playing. Team Canada here. Team USA goes to St. Paul. They will play Russia on Thursday. Lyles coming back. St. Louis. Block Chelios. Looking ahead. Ed Conroy. Great play by Waite. Waite blocked it and held it in. Simon Gagne to the corner. Chelios. Team Canada now holding in the zone here as Team USA trying to get out. Having troubles. Gagne again. That one got blocked by Waite. Out back around the near side. Looking at a minute 30 left to go. Keep an eye on Ash if Team USA can move this puck into the other end. Connor Walchuk trying to gain the red. Again, low in the lighting. Back to Chelios. Chelios dumped it. Team Canada trying to change. Here's Hull. Hull sends it in high off the glass. Ash edging his way out. Now has to back up and back in net. Again, this pass for Mario Lemieux. Lemieux will chase it down. Lemieux sent it. Oh, blocked by Ralston almost so hard that it ended up being a shot. But he controlled it. Back into the middle of the wire. Shot. Save it. Rebound. Bounce straight up in the air. But he got a whistle. He got a whistle. All right. All right. I think it's time for a timeout here. Let's regroup ourselves. Let's get, get the game plan down. U.S. needs a big last minute here. 
They have to use Ralston on defense, Bill. They're so shorthanded. Last shift, Ralston came out and played D. And trying to generate some offense, obviously. But I'll Team USA got a break here and getting a whistle. Yeah. There's the timeout there. Yeah, I know this game a little bit. Why would you say that? Well, 58 seconds to go in a one-goal game, you call a timeout. That's pretty good. You got coaching material no, written all no, over you. No, only because I'd be sucking so much wind out there, I couldn't even feel myself. Faceoff is going to be in uh, Team USA's end. So, Ash will have to wait to get out of there. And Ronnie Wilson now is talking to them and pointing to the offensive zone. Obviously, what has to happen for anything that he is saying. Now, Peter Laviolette, the head coach of the Carolina Hurricanes, is talking to them. But before they even discuss what happens in the offensive zone, they got to win a faceoff. Laviolette's in charge of the D, Bill. He's, uh, Ron Wilson has given him control of D. Or what's left of them. Or what's left of them. And Barry Smith there giving uh, Robert Esch his marching orders. I'll tell you what, right now, I'll tell you exactly what the U.S. plan is going to be. It's going to get the puck in, the, in deep, get Keith Kachuk and Billy Guerin in front of that net, in front of Marty Brodeur, get that puck back to Brian Leach, and hopefully a, a, something will squeak by or there will be a rebound with Keith and then Billy Guerin right in front. Who does all that work to get the puck back to them? I guess it will be Doug Waite. It's Dougie Waite. Dougie yeah. Waite's the playmaker here. Regeer, that was blocked by Joe Sackick. Who else? Big play man. Dumped into the zone. 48 seconds left to go. Ash has to stay in. Leach in his own end. Lemieux, Aginla, Sackett, Niedemeyer, and Regeer defensively. There goes Ash. Leach trying to gain the red. Trying to dump it in. It's blocked. Empty net at the other end. And whistled on an offside. 34 seconds remaining. Team Canada leading it. 2-1. At one point, chances were 18 zip. Team Canada, USA has had 15 of the last 18 chances. Team USA is the extra skater. Hull guns it in. Played by Niedermeyer. Niedermeyer around the boards. Knocked down by Garen. Gomez had it. Garen trying to help. Lemieux had pushed it away. Sent oh, right oh. through the crease with Kachuk in front. Back to Leach. Leach dumps it into the corner. Couldn't get it there. Niedermeyer. What a hold in. Kachuk. But it came outside the zone. He did oh, not hold it in. Man, you're not going to see one minute better opportunities in the last minute than we just saw right there. Throw it at the net. It has a chance to go in. Billy Guerin made Billy Guerin made a great play to keep it in on the boards. Now it's just a battle. It's just a race. There goes Keith Kachuk to the front of the net. Man, and you're and not going to see much better than that. And it was Doug Waite that centered it. Mario Lemieux hasn't been off the ice the last two minutes. When you need him the most, Pat Quinn has had him fresh. Sackick won the draw. Niedermeyer clears it around. Knocked down. Three seconds left to go. The countdown. Team Canada 2. Team USA 1. Well, I wasn't disappointed. We all thought in the beginning of the game that it was going to be a route. Robert Esch came in, stood strong, kept this team in the game. It turned out to be a hell of a hockey game. St. Louis from Thornton and Niedermeyer. Sackick from Redden and St. Louis in the first period. One second period the second. Billy Guerin from Gomez for Team USA in the second period. No scoring in the third. The Team USA can hold their heads high because of the way they played in the second half. But now it's just not a matter of holding your head high. It's a matter of body. It's about Mike Madonna. It's about your banged up defenseman. For that matter, Canada's got some injuries to think about now too. Our final score here, Team Canada winning the first of the games in North America. And they do it here in Montreal by a score of 2-1. Baseball tonight is going to be coming up next. We thank all of you for joining us. A lot more activity hockey-wise coming up Thursday. Our coverage of the Toyota World Cup of Hockey. The United States will take on Russia. That will be coming up Thursday at 7. On behalf of Aaron Andrews, Jeremy Roenick, Bill Clement, I'm Gary Thorne. Thanks for being with us, everybody. Canada wins this one 2-1. to one. Baseball tonight is now.